Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the gun system in the Row Essentials plugin. So once you insert it from the plugin, you'll be in video scripts right here, and then you just find weapon system, and then you'll it'll insert this gun system folder, and it'll have all this stuff in here, and all you have to do is ungroup where it says, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So ungroup this and replicate storage, just like that, and you can ungroup this, start character scripts. And then ungroup this, start a GUI. And then ungroup this in workspace. Okay, now, first thing you wanna do for the animations, you wanna go to the animation dummy and then you wanna go to the animation editor and you click on this rig and then, yeah. And then you can load the animation. So this is the regular run and you wanna publish it to your own account. And after you publish it, copy the ID and put it in here in this run animation because it's not gonna work with the animation that I put since it's on my account. And then you can do the same with all the gun animations. So all the gun animations on here, like the gun hold, gun reload, gun run, gun shoot, just paste all those in here. Run, shoot, reload, hold, that's all you have to do. And then it'll work fine. So, and you can put the Draco in starter pack like that. And now once you click play, also make sure games are R6, go to game settings, avatar, set it to R6. Once it's like that, click play. And then you have this Draco. You have all these animations. You can run, you can shoot, and then you can reload. And in the upgrade bench, you just go up here with your gun out down there. It'll play this animation. It'll have the lasers come down. Then it'll do this. And then after that's done, it'll put the chip in, and then you're going to be upgraded. like that now the gun shoots faster and does more damage and then it has the flashes changed and then i'm gonna show you how to change the values so in the gun you can go to values here you can change clip max clip make sure those are the same and then reserve max reserve make sure those are the same clip is how much ammo you can shoot reserve is how much ammo you have on the side shooting you don't mess with that upgraded if you set this to true, then the gun will be upgraded like how it is on the upgrade bench. You set it to false, then it won't be upgraded until they go to the upgrade bench. And then uh, animations, obviously. And then in scripts, client, set the gun setting cooldown. This is the cooldown when it's not upgraded, and this is the cooldown when it is upgraded. And then you can set this to automatic right here. So if it's true, then it'll shoot when you just hold it down. But if it's false, then you have to keep clicking it to shoot. And then server, make sure you have the cooldown as the same with the client. And then damage settings, head and body, 25 headshot, 35 body shot. And then the upgraded damage, this is how much damage will do when it's upgraded. And then this is the sound for the weapons. Now, to add a new weapon is really easy. It's just copy and paste. So you can go to the toolbox and you can find it. I went to meshes and I searched up Glock because I want to add a Glock. So I added a Glock here. And then I just scale it down like this. Have it like that. And then make sure you name it handle with the capital H. So handle. And then you want to insert a tool. Put that in there. And then you can use the tool group editor plugin by Clone Trooper 1019. Or you could use the free one by Slitnik, I think it's called. And then you can go in here, change the tool grip. So that's fine for now. Now name this, whatever you want, Glock. Now in the Draco, copy everything except the gun handle and then paste that into the Glock. And then set the GUI name to the same as you named the tool. So Glock, capital G. And then in the Draco, you have the fire point flash, upgraded flash, copy that and put this in the handle of the Glock. And then set it to where you want the gun to shoot from. So I wanted to shoot from there. And then that's all you have to do. So then just put the Glock in here in the starter pack. And then once you click play, you'll have the Glock. You can shoot it. I didn't change the sound and I kept it automatic. So it's like automatic Glock like that. But if you want it to not be automatic, just go here, scripts, client, and then automatic set that to false. And then you can change the sounds if you want. I'm not going to change it right now. So just click play. And now you have to keep clicking. I can't hold it down. 
you have to keep clicking to shoot it and you can upgrade it and then it'll be do the same thing so does that that like that and then the glock kind of upgrade it does more damage and then you can refill the ammo here too so if i reload this I don't have 250 reserve, so I can just hold this down. Make sure it's the gun you're holding, and then boom, like that. And obviously, change the animations too, because this animation doesn't really fit. It's only fit for this gun. So change the animation to make sure it's published on your account, or else it won't work. And uh, the mod, the gun system is in my plug-in description below. And if you need help, you can join my Discord server and ask for help there. And yeah.